Hey, welcome to Zach's Tech Turf. On today's episode of Weekly Download, episode number 124, I'm gonna be playing some Path of Exile, actually, when I give you this news. I'm pretty new in this game, so try not to judge. I also got my cup of coffee right here. Make sure you guys let me know in the comment section what you're sipping on. Let's get into it. Before getting into the tech and PC gaming news, let me quickly introduce the sponsor of today's video, Dev Mountain. Dev Mountain is a 13 week class for all of you aspiring iOS and web developers out there. Their 13 week class focuses on providing you only the skills that you actually need to go out there and start your new career in coding. They don't waste time with a filler curriculum like at a traditional college. They also feature student housing at no extra cost, a variety of different classes, including UX design and QA testing. And most importantly, all of this is available at an affordable price. Head on down to that first link in the description to learn more if you're interested in getting that quick boost you need to start your new career in coding and design. To kick off the tech news for the week, I just want to make you all aware, not saying I believe it or anything, but there are apparently some rumors floating around about Intel considering buying out AMD. The E Times has reported that they have multiple C-level executives as sources saying that Intel is considering doing just that, which obviously sounds insane. We all know just how much these companies have been competing over the years, especially just the last couple. I honestly don't think this really has a chance, but we have seen crazier things. Things. I just had to get that off my chest and let you guys know about that. Moving on now. Next up, sticking with some Intel news though, there's also some rumors stating that Intel is prepping a Core i9 9990XE processor for launch, which will be rocking 14 cores up to 5.0 gigahertz, which honestly sounds insane as well. Although the current i9 flagship, the 9980XE is already rocking 18 cores, according to a non-tech, this 14 core CPU would still become the new flagship because of just how much faster the clock speeds are. Once again, not really sure how accurate this is, this one is honestly much more believable than the first story, but this would be insane if it happened as well. Switching back over to some AMD news, Tweaktown is reporting that AMD will only be producing 5,000 units of their new Radeon 7 GPU, which they just announced last week at CES, but apparently AMD is also stating that the demand will be met. I've already given my thoughts about this whole GPU, so I'm not going to dive deeper into it, but I think this honestly only reaffirms what I said, this isn't going to be a heavily demanded GPU for gamers, it'll have its uses, but not for gamers. Moving on to some post-CES NVIDIA news, you guys might have already seen this because it happened literally right after CES, but since I didn't post it in last week's episode, I just wanted to put it on this one. NVIDIA CEO Jensen gave an update on their GeForce Now streaming service, and I really like what he said. He basically stated that NVIDIA has been working on this for over a decade at this point, but no matter how far they've gotten, he doesn't think cloud gaming will ever truly replace a PC sitting in front of you. They also announced that they are now sitting at hundreds of thousands of concurrent users on their service, and they're definitely going to keep improving it, but it's refreshing to hear that even someone like him doesn't think cloud gaming will take over the world anytime soon. In some more Nvidia news, that big announcement at CES about Nvidia cards being compatible with FreeSync is now officially a real thing as the Nvidia drivers went live on Tuesday and so far it looks like it's actually working. On my RTX 2080 Ti, after the update, I was able to go into the Nvidia control panel and switch on G-Sync mode, but sorry, I haven't really tested this enough to comment on it farther. The monitor that I'm currently rocking wasn't an official G-Sync compatible monitor according to Nvidia, at least not yet, but from what I can tell, everything seems to have worked just fine. I'll update you guys on that soon. Sapphire made the headlines this week as they announced that they're making new graphics cards specifically for mining cryptocurrency. Yes, you heard that right, and no, we aren't in a time machine sent back to the middle of last year. Apparently, Sapphire still thinks that mining cryptocurrency, specifically a new privacy coin called Grin, will still be relevant, so they designed this 16 gigabyte version of the RX 570 with only one display output for miners. Not really sure how well that's gonna go, but we shall wait and see, I guess. Moving on to the PC gaming news for the week, we have a couple of pieces of Valve updates, the first one being that they announced eight major changes coming to the Steam Store platform here in 2019. They aren't really exciting if I do say so myself, but some items on the list are better game discoverability, which Steam definitely needs, a reworked Steam library and Steam chat, and something called a Steam PC Cafe program, which sounds kind of interesting. The other quick piece of Valve news that they added this week is that apparently in 2018, Steam delivered 15 billion gigabytes bytes of data. Wow. 15 billion gigabytes of data is equal to 15 exabytes, whatever the heck those are. In this article, Valve also posted some cool information that I've never seen before about how they actually control their own private network with internet backbone companies that allow them to send all this data out at fast speeds. Pretty cool stuff that you can check out if you're interested in more about that. And finally, to wrap up the pretty quiet week of PC gaming news, Rocket League announced that the game is now cross-platform with not only PlayStation and PC systems, but now also Xbox and Switch players 
viewers can join in on the action as well. You guys probably know by now that I'll never skip the opportunity to talk about crossplay because I just absolutely love when companies do this and it's honestly the only thing that I enjoy about Fortnite. I personally believe that the future of gaming needs to evolve to more crossplay ability between different consoles and I'm happy to see that Rocket League is joining the very short list now. Well that wraps up weekly download episode number 124. Now feel free to head on over to one of these two videos if you haven't seen them yet and definitely hit the subscribe button because next week I got some more build guides coming. You don't want to miss those videos.